So sepsis is infection with badness. Uh, it's the sharp end of infection. Um, it doesn't have a diagnostic test yet. But Cordo and colleagues are working really hard to help give us a biomarker that will point us in that direction. All we have pending that is the clinical judgment of our clinicians coupled with physiological scores. And the new NHS sepsis implementation guidance suggests that a news value of five combined with um, the clinical judgment of a decision maker to determine whether sepsis could be present give, gives the diagnosis of suspected sepsis. Because we don't wait for tests with bad infection. We cannot afford to. We can only go on judgment and what we suspect, what we feel may be the cause of the problem. So we use news, which has been updated to news two recently, um, and assesses six different physiological parameters with addition of oxygen as well, and tests for oxygen, blood pressure, heart rate, and the like, and can be done everywhere and anywhere in healthcare. It takes about two minutes to do. It can be communicated within five seconds. Um, and when it is communicated and everyone in the pathway knows the level of sickness that they're dealing with, it can save lives. Because we're then we're prepared, we can prioritize, we can plan, and we can have the right people ready to receive a patient who is sick for any reason at all in the right environment. Um, each one of the scores that one derives from a news two can be added up to give you a risk. And that risk predicts whether patients are likely to die or survive, and it predicts their recovery as well. With News 2, it gives us the opportunity to align the pathways for infection with those for deterioration. Because when someone gets ill and they come into an emergency the hospital, you simply can't tell what's wrong with them. And to have blinkered pathways that only think about one specific condition misses the whole point and loses people along the way. So by having a combined deterioration pathway, we can actually assess the needs of every single sick patient that comes in and treat them appropriately with the right level of seniority and the right level of urgency based on their mortality risk. And the exciting opportunity is how we combine infection, antimicrobial stewardship and all cause general deterioration into the whole package that will lead to lives being saved.